What's up guys, welcome back to another awesome episode. So today I wanna to go over my BFS setup. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do, the, do this type of video. So I decided this is gonna be the right time to show you what I'm using because we're a start of 2021. So what you're seeing in front of you is current If you don't know what BFS means, BFS means Bait Finesse System. It's a culture that, has, that was pretty much started in Japan. Basically the Japanese anglers, since it's a small little island, as you guys know, Japan, uh, fishing spots are very, very highly pressured. And the Japanese have figured out in order to catch these game fish in their homeland, they started using really small micro lures. And the tackle, the reels and rods that they were using back then to throw these uh, small little micro lures weren't really working for them. So they came out with micro small reels and light, light, ultra light uh, rods to throw these little lures because they found out these little lures or little baits, whatever you want to call it, micro baits, they were the ones that were catching the game fish. Now fast forward to currently today, America has actually really taken in that finesse fishing. You see a lot of freshwater guys use finesse baits to catch largemouth bass for highly pressured areas or when it's when the weather condition is really tough, when the bite is really hard, a lot of these, you know, anglers, really good anglers use small little lures and that's not really different from the Texas coast. And if you guys have been following me on my channel, you guys primarily know that I am a saltwater inshore fisherman that targets redfish, flounder, and trout. I live in the upper Texas coast, more specifically near Galveston and Freeport, and our waters are really, really highly pressured because of the population size of Houston. And what I've learned throughout the years is going smaller in my lure has actually increased my chances of catching good game fish. And bottom line, I too have implemented that BFS onto my channel. I have hundreds of videos. If you wanna go check out my playlist, hundreds of videos of me catching good size, big slot redfish donkeys on ultralight finesse BFS reel, rod and reel setups, along with small little lures. So right in front of you guys, I have six setups that are designated for BFS, four bait casting and two spinning reels. So let's get right into it. Here's my first setup. This is the Daiwa Steve CT SBTW. I have it paired up with the old 18 suppressor ultralight rod, which is seven foot, the Veravaz 0.8 braided line here. And this is a heck of a setup. Now keep in mind guys, that I'm not gonna put everything in order from least favorite to most favorite or vice versa. It's just all random. These are, like I said, these are the BFS setups I use for the channel and I can mix them around, use them all pretty much any way I like to, throwing light lures like the Bugs 1 8 ounce curl tail or even going down to 1 16th ounce if I need to. These setups throw them with no problem. But anyways, this is a Daiwa Steve CTS VTW and I absolutely love this reel right here. This has been one of the smoothest BFS reels that I've owned. I got this straight from Japan at digitaka.com. If you're interested in any of the products that I'm showing you today, please look in the description box below. I have everything linked for you. But this right here is a tank, man. I've caught some really good big fish on it. Very smooth, very reliable. I've never had any issues with it and I'm able to throw, I would say probably 1 16th ounce would be the smallest lure I can throw the way it's set up as is right now. I really love this setup, caught a lot of big fish, and um, yeah, I don't, I don't see myself getting rid of this setup anytime soon. All right, here's my second setup, ladies and gentlemen. This, this is a Daiwa Alphas Air TW, and I too have caught a lot, a lot of big fish on it. And once again, it is paired up with the old 18 suppressor, ultralight seven foot rod. And man, this has been a tank. It's probably one of the furthest casting reels, BFS wise, that I own. And my buddy, the Real Review, he's actually shown a couple of videos of him casting ultra, ultra light lures with this setup right here, or the Daiwa Alpha Air rather. And he's been able to throw them without any issues. And it's just been such a great reel and this also this this model actually came out recently i think it came out i want to say late 2020 or mid 2020 but i got it right when it first came out and i've been using it since and once again like i said i've caught so many big redfish on this 
flounder also, speckled trout, and it's been ticking, never an issue. It got a little bit grindy for a minute because of all the saltwater residue I get on the line that goes into the gears, but I've got it clean. I, I oil it, I do the basic maintenance I do on all my reels, and it's been no problem ever since. Very smooth. Now, is it gonna be smooth as a Daiwa Ste CTS VTW? Answer is no, it's not. This Daiwa Alpha Air, I would say, is probably the least expensive Daiwa BFS reel that you can buy. Uh, it's not badly priced, honestly. I would recommend you guys check out Digitaka for the pricing. But yeah, I love this setup. I'm not gonna get rid of this for a while. I mean, it's been a tank, caught me some good fish. And man, like I said, I tell you, this can freaking launch a small little lure. Look at this Bugs 1 8 ounce lure right here that I have tied on. This can launch this lure probably like 20, 25 yards without any issues. I mean, this is such a pleasure to fish with. Okay, here's my third setup. This is made by Shimano. More specifically, this is a Shimano SLX MGL. And this is the lowest cost BFS reel or setup that I own right now. Currently, I have it paired up with an old 18 Arias Ultralight 7 foot. Now, this is going to be a little bit heavier setup than my old 18 suppressor. The suppressor is much lighter. I won't, well, I won't say much lighter. This setup right here, even though it's my least expensive setup, has been a pleasure to fish with. I've caught some big redfish on this setup right here. And right now, I have it paired up with the Veravas 1.0 gauge line, a little bit thicker than the 0.8. Um, just because I want it to be more versatile and it's such a versatile rod and reel setup able to throw I would say 1 8 ounce BFS light lures like the curl tail redfish jig from Bugs Fishing Lures and possibly possibly you can throw a 1 16 ounce with this setup right here you probably just have to go lighter on the line and possibly replace the ultralight with an ultra 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 light rod that you can get from Japan but this too has been a great setup a low cost setup compared to the other BFS setups that I have, but nonetheless, a pleasure to deal with. It's not as smooth as the Alpha Air TW from Daiwa that I showed you previously, honestly. And it doesn't even compare to the smoothest of the Daiwa Steez CTSV TW, but it's still a very nice setup for the money. Now, I don't anticipate getting rid of this setup anytime soon because it is such a pleasure to fish with, and for the price, you can't beat the performance, but in Japan, they're coming out with the new Shimano SLX BFS, which I am going to get, honestly, on the channel. It looks very promising. It's going to be pretty much the same size as this right here, but it's going to have a shallower spool, meaning less line and more rotation, so you can throw your light lure out. But anyways, when that comes out, I'll make sure I'll do an unboxing and re review all that good stuff for you guys. But this is a great setup, like I said, for the money. If you're not looking to break the bank with a BFS setup, because BFS can get pretty pricey, I'm gonna be frank with you, this is the one to look at right here. Okay, so here's my last bait casting reel that I wanna show you guys. Now this one is the cream of the crop of BFS, and this thing right here can throw freaking light lures. I'm talking about 1 32nd ounce, no problems at all. This specific model is called a Daiwa Steez Air TW, and this is Daiwa's top of the line BF BFS reel that they offer in Japan. And this thing has been such a pleasure to fish with. I mean, just look how small it is. I mean, look at the handle. Let me show you, let me compare it to the Daiwa Steez CTS VTW. Hope you guys can see this. As you see on your right is going to be Daiwa Steez CTS VTW. And to your left is going to be Daiwa Steez Air TW. As you can tell, the handle is much smaller compared to what Daiwa Steez CTS V has to offer. And this thing, like I said, has been such a pleasure to fish with. This is my ultra, ultra light setup right here. If I need to throw a 1 16th ounce without any issues and get distance, this is the real, this is the rod and reel setup that I'll be pulling out of my bag. I have have it paired up with a special Veravas saltwater finesse line that's 0.6 gauge. I do have the 0.4, which is even thinner, but I mean, that's super, super thin. And honestly, I have not really seen myself go thinner or needing a thinner line to throw a very small micro lures because what this, what this is able to do is good enough on the Texas upper coast. 
Don't let the size fool you, ladies and gentlemen. This thing has caught some big, big flounder as well as good size mid slot reds. Now, if you're looking to catch you know, upper slot reds, close to bull reds, this will, I mean, I think you will be able to catch them no problem with the line, but it's gonna be a long, long fight because the line that I'm using is only nine pound test and you know those bull reds can be you know more than nine pounds up to 11 12 13 pounds depending on how big they are and not to say that you can't catch them with this it's just going to take a long time but this thing has been such a dream to fish with i even let my buddy cast this and he's like wow this thing casts like a dream and i was using a 1 16 ounce flat bug flats bug at that time and he was just launching that little lure 20 yards plus no problems at all very accurate throwing at the spots throwing at the drains that you need to the apexes whatever the case may be this thing has been such so much fun to fish with and catching big fish i mean look how small it is this reel right here is the definition for what daiwa offers in bfs now i don't see myself getting rid of this setup anytime soon because like i said this is my super ultra light bfs setup that i own i don't own anything that's going to be lighter or or be able to throw lighter lures than this right here that's why i'm keeping this around i don't use it as much because all the other rod and reel setups that i showed you in bait casting um, applications are able to throw small lures small enough lures that i need but if i need like i said if i need to go smaller because the water is over pressured or it's very hot or whatever the case may be if i need to throw a really small lure i'm gonna pull this setup right here All right, here's the first setup that I have. This is the Shimano Stella, straight from Japan. They actually don't have this model here in the US. This specific model is called a C2000 SHG. And this thing has been an absolute pleasure to fish with. It's a thousand size series reel, but the spool size is a 2000, so it holds a little bit more line. I too have this setup on the old 18 suppressor ultralight spinning rod setup, which is seven foot. And if I need to throw, say if I don't take out the Daiwa Steez Air TW, or I forget it at home, and I need to throw a really, really light lure, 1 16th max, maybe even smaller, I'm able to pull this out and just fling it because a lot of bait finesse fishing that you see in America, a lot of the guys actually use a spinning rod and reel setup because it's just easier to fling a small little lure further than a bait casting reel. I absolutely love this setup right here. The Stella is freaking buttery smooth. I've taken out wade fishing, kayak fishing, I mean, all types of fishing. I've caught some big redfish, flounder and trout on this specific model right here. And I absolutely love it. I don't see myself getting rid of it anytime soon because this is such a dream to fish with. The last setup that you see today, ladies and gentlemen, is the Shimano Vanford C2000 SHG. It's the same size as the Stella as you saw but it's lighter weight because of the CI4 parts that I use. I also have this paired up with the old 18 suppressor ultralight spinning reel or spinning rod rather, seven foot. This setup right here is probably the least expensive spinning reel setup versus the Stella obviously, because it's not the highest end reel as a Stella is, but don't let that fool you guys because this thing is a tank and I've already caught some big upper, upper slot red, close to bull reds with this as well. As speckled trout and flounder and man this has been a pleasure to fish with so freaking so nice so smooth able to cast a really small 1 16 ounce lure if i need to honestly i haven't used as much as i wanted to but i plan to use it more in 2021 just because i think it looks so cool too i just love the color scheme the charcoal black red everything mixed in and just how light this setup right here i would say this is just as light as some of my bait casting setups that you just saw and it's much lighter than the stella so a lot of you guys are probably wondering nick why do you have so many different setups that kind of do the same thing and honestly the easiest way to answer that is the one word i can think of which means convenience now one given day if i go out kayak fishing and i'm going to be using all micro lures i like to carry four different bait casting reels or two bait casting reels two spinning reels whatever the case may be and each one's going to be tied with a different bugs lure whether it be a curl tail 1 8 ounce a clickbait shrimp that's 1 16 ounce or maybe even a flats bug 1 16 or maybe even the new clickbait minnow when heath is able to come out with it in the market at the 132nd ounce i mean i love to keep small little lures 
on different setups so I don't have to waste too much time on the water clipping my line and retying every single time. I mean, it's just pretty much basically convenience. Also, ladies and gentlemen, please keep in mind, BFS is not cheap, okay? I'm gonna be honest with you, BFS is pretty expensive. If you wanna be able to throw small little lures and have a lot of fun using finesse, you know, ultralight setups, I mean, you gotta pay a pretty penny. None of these items that I showed you, can you can buy off the rack at Academy, or these reels right here are not gonna run you 30 bucks. Average, average price for these reels is gonna be around 250 to $300. As I stated earlier, you know, BFS fishing is not for everyone, but if you're looking to have a lot of fun using small ultralight tackle to catch those big fish, because those ultralight lures seem to, seem to get those lockjaw fish to really attack that lure, then BFS is something you really need to take a hard look at. Please keep in mind, you can buy the rod, you can buy the reel, but if your line is not matching, the small little lure that you're using or you want to throw, it's not going to work out for you. If you guys been following me on my channel, I've been using Veravas on my channel, on my rod and reel setups, the BFS setups, and I've been having a lot of success. Now do keep in mind that since these are much smaller in diameter, if they do get nicked up in oyster or a branch or whatever the case may be, if you start seeing frays, you need to cut that out and you need to fix it right away because since it's so thin, but yet so strong, but even though it's so thin, you have those frays, it will break still. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is my BFS setup in a nutshell. Now do keep in mind, once again, Japan keeps coming out with new BFS stuff all the time. And once I see it in Japan, I feel like it's worthy to bring it on the channel. I will bring it and use it, do unboxings, all that good stuff. So this collection, as you see right now, as is, may get bigger in the future, who knows. But anyways, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button for me. And also check out my other videos in the past. I've created over 300 videos of me catching fish. A lot of them are on the BFS setups. And let me tell you what, I'm having too much fun. And I don't see myself moving from this BFS movement. I feel like it's gonna be growing more, especially here on the Texas Upper Coast. But anyways, guys, I love you very much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.